Well, we started off with some good hand sized brim here. This um, little jig we started off with is white and kind of pink with speckles in it, little blue speckles. We started off with it. Already it's done caught two. in this running water and I can tell you nice fish but you can pull once you got in this running water out here look at that bull blue gill little brown I think I might keep a few of y'all today we did a fish fry during my birthday, uh, missed the whole box. Now we fried up a big mess of fish. Uh, that's it, we can do that again, you two. Nice fish, whatever it is, probably old Bram again. Quite big a dozen, but you a nice brim. You the third one of them caught out that corner there. Oh, hand side of brim here. Oh, turn that tail loose off of it. You always want to break that tail off. Somebody was asking me on one of my other videos. What tide did I like to fish best? The coming in tide or the going out tide? What I like to do is catch the tide about two hours before his dead low, fish it about two hours, that last two hours of it going out. That way I can fish it when it's way down low. And then I like to fish it when it's coming back in because the water moves slower coming in than what it does going out. But from two hours before dead low tide, uh, I like the fish to come in the end tide when it turns to come back in. But I like to get down here before it before it turns to come in. Uh, that's the way that I like to fish it. Oh yeah, another nice brim here. Nice brim bite today. <clears throat> Maybe the brim bites coming back on a little bit. Yeah, for a while, the only thing we catch them is more mouth. No, oh, you got off right there. Torio mouth. Oh, you thought you was a monster, didn't you? You was trying to give it a good run for its money. This wind keeps trying to blow me around, trying to hold the boat straight. I get up in that curve, should be out the wind a little bit. <clears throat> Whoops, I had one hit it there. Hit it again. Might be old garfish. Oh, good size brim here. And he swallowed it. Now what do you want to swallow that thing that deep for? 
No, I'm gonna have a hard time getting it out your mouth. Must be a mole mouth here, cause he ain't running too fast. Whatever he is, he's trying to go under the boat. Yes, an old morgy. The big thick morgy. I guess we'll keep you wife you eat you it's probably ready for some more y'all no oh, hand size brimmy but YouTube you don't always have to use the beetles and stuff I imagine y'all know too like it comes with your beetle spins when you buy them or your spinners you can Take some grubs in a pack that's made for jigging, and a lot of times if I like the color, then that's what I'll uh, use on here a lot of times. Must be a mole mouth. He hit it and then get it is. Hit it real hard to start with and then just kind of give up. I was about to wonder where y'all was at, because last week y'all was biting and the brim wasn't doing too good. Come in, Molly. Trying to shake that thing out of your mouth. Good help, you, Molly. Man, did you try to swallow it, but you got a big mouth. I can, think I can reach down there and pop it loose. Well, no, you hung it in there good. Right in the top of your mouth where it's hard at down. Come here, Brown. Use a good hand size when we let you go back. Alright, we switched over to an orange and yellow uh, grub there now. Jig, whichever one you want to call it. Another mole now. At least you didn't swallow it, I can turn you back loose. All of a sudden, the mole mouth bite turn on. Must be a shell cracker or a bass or something here. This ain't nothing right. No jackfish. Chain pickerel. And these things got teeth. And they ain't all that heavy, but they will cut your line when you gotta pick them up. There's a chain pickerel. We call them jackfish around here. Let's see if I can get him turned right. There's a chain pickerel. I don't know if you can see it, but you see them teeth right there in that thing's mouth. I've had them cut my thumb before. I'm trying to take them off of a, a um, rebel. Them things, they got some bad teeth. As he was going around the mountain doing 90 miles an hour When the chain on my bicycle broke I was skinned all over from the rocks and the gravel And punctured to death by the spokes I ain't kidding, I ain't joking I'm just laying here choking with these handlebars that's sticking down my throat 
Rear end front tire for necktie, the back wheel for a belt. And I'm wearing the fender for a coat. I come here, Molly. Grabbed that thing like you was a monster and pulled on the bar there for a minute, and then you just gave up. Oh my, he ain't running fast now. He's running fast now. It might be a brim. No, small brim. A well, hand sized brim. He ain't real small. Alright, y'all tearing up my little grub here now. A hand sized shell cracker. Something here wanting to go with it. Whoa, here, Nelly. Shell crackers, there's a mud fish after him. <laughs> oh, good size shell cracker here. Yeah. I got these polarized glasses on and sometimes you can see a little bit under the water. I saw that mudfish come after that shell cracker. Yeah, hand size brim here this time. Nice eating size. Size a lot of people like them. Nice brim. I hooked them in the corner of the eye. See if I can get it out without messing the eye up there, buddy. Yeah, we got it out. Another nice brim. We catching some nice ones. They hitting this orange and yellow grub hard. They hit it, they hit it. They must be liking this color right now. That old cypress there has seen a many a storm. It broke off up there, but I think I seen a ride up about a month ago that some of these cypress are over a thousand years older on the side of this river. A lot of places down here, the cypress is bigger than that in there is, way bigger. I can hear them fish popping the water up there in front of me up there. Let's see if we can pull a nothing out of there. Uh, they too far off the wind blowing. Another nice shell cracker. Nice one. Very good size brown. I can hear them brown somewhere up there around them cypress. In front of me at the end of them lily pads up there popping somewhere. I'm trying to ease up there real quiet, trying not to spook them. Let's see if we can get.
get on them without spooking them up there. One thing about a brim, they sometimes they're easy to spook. They can tell when you're there because they'll hush up. Come on in, Nelly. Oh, good side brim. YouTube, I think I'm going to call it a day. It's 12.30. That sun's got out good and hot now. And I'm trying to do some videos on top water before it gets any hotter during the summer because directly it's going to be start having them heat indexes anyhow anyhow youtube like i was saying for this uh weather gets up to these humidity of 110 degrees 115 degrees we're trying to fish on the top some catch the fish on top later we got to find some shade and all that to get over during the middle of the day had fish late in the evening early in the morning but anyhow we kept about, I don't know, I guess about a dozen fish. Um, we could head on in. I ain't want no more than that to clean anyhow. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed.